Some atheists argue that the universe is a brute fact. The universe just exists, they say, and that's that. It has no explanation at all. This was Bertrand Russell's position in his classic 1948 BBC radio debate with Father Frederick Copleston. How can we respond? Fundamentally, atheists who hold to this position are denying the principle of sufficient reason, which states that everything that is has a sufficient reason for existing. But as some philosophers point out, the denial of the principle of sufficient reason is at the same time a denial of rational argumentation, including any argument for brute facts. Consider how when we accept the conclusion Socrates is mortal, we do so based on the premises all men are mortal and Socrates is a man. In other words, we recognize the conclusion as rational because the premises are true and the argument is logically valid. But if brute facts are possible and the principle of sufficient reason is false, well then it follows that our conclusion, Socrates is mortal, might have nothing to do with the truth of the premises and their logical structure. Similarly, the conclusion, things like the universe can exist without a reason for their existence, might itself be a brute fact and have no connection to truth or logic. But if that's the case, well then we would have no reason to accept it as true. So the denial of the principle of sufficient reason undercuts any ground one might have for doubting the principle, as in Russell's example of the universe. Therefore, the position is self-refuting and thus unreasonable. As to what the explanation of the universe is, we'll have to save that for another time. If you want to learn more about this topic and others like it, check out our website at catholic.com. For Catholic Answers, I'm Carlo Broussard. Thanks for watching.